Hi, welcome to Video Lectures. I am myself, Karuna Majit Narayan Rao, Assistant Professor, Vijayanagar College, Hospite. And today's topic is on twisting couple on a wire. To understand this, first we shall understand what is a couple. Couple is defined as two equal and unlike parallel forces not acting along the same straight line constitute a couple. Basically, couple depends upon two factors. One is magnitude of the force and another is perpendicular distance from the point of suspension. Therefore, couple is the product of force and perpendicular distance. And the couple is F into D, where F is the force, D is the perpendicular distance. And it is measured in Newton meter or Joule. And it is a vector quantity displaces in the direction of applied force. The effect of the couple is to produce rotatory motion. Due to the action of the couple, a torque acts on a body to rotate about a fixed point. Consider the torque acting on a body is given by tau. Tau is equal to R cross F. It is R cross F. Then what are the practical applications of couple? To understand the couple, the best examples are one is pedaling of a bicycle in which we apply two forces which are not equal in magnitude but opposite in direction and they are not acting along the same straight line constitute a couple. Therefore, to couple to constitute, there must be two equal, unlike parallel forces, not acting along the same straight line constitute a couple. Therefore, pedaling of a bicycle where we apply two forces simultaneously upon a body to constitute a couple, hence it forms a couple for pedaling of a bicycle. At the same time, two boys sitting in a seesaw in a garden applies a couple, where two equal but unlike parallel forces not acting along the same straight line constitute a couple. Here also two forces are acting simultaneously upon a body to constitute a couple. Hence, to couple to form, there must be two equal and unlike parallel forces not acting along the same straight line constitute a couple. Then what is the amount of work done in twisting a wire? Let us consider a wire of length L of radius A which is fixed at one end or at the upper end. When a couple is applied at the lower end, that means whenever we apply a force at the lower end, the upper end is being fixed, then it will be twisting over an angle. Let us consider that it will twist through an angle theta. If C is the couple per unit twist, then the couple to twist the wire through an angle theta will be given by C theta, where C is the couple, theta is the angle of the twist. If the wire is further twisted through one more small angle, if I consider this small angle to be D theta, then the amount of work done is given by C theta D theta where d theta is the small angle with which the wire is rotated. Like that, what is the total amount of work done for the entire twist of the wire? That means whenever it is being rotated by small angles theta, when we rotate by small angle, let us consider that to be d theta 1. When we rotate by one more theta, then it will be d t theta 2. Like that, in complete twist of the wire, it is the summation of all values taken over the complete rotation or complete twist to produce a total angle equal to theta. That means we have to take the summation of all such values of d theta 1, d theta 2, d theta 3 etc. over the complete interval. Therefore, to form the total amount of work done for the entire twist theta, we have to integrate. Summation means integration. That is from 
0 to theta, integration of 0 to theta, c theta, d theta. Now, to integrate this here, c is the constant of integration. Therefore, we have to take it outside. Then what is the integration of theta d theta? To understand, let us consider for a while. If I consider integration of x to the power of n dx, it can be written as, integration of this can be written as x to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus constant of integration. In the same way, integration of x dx is given by x to the power of 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1. In other words, it is equal to x to the power of 2 by 2. In the same way here, we are considering integration of theta d theta. It can be written as theta to the power of 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1. That is equal to theta square by 2. That is here as c is constant, c into theta square by 2 or it can be written as half c theta square. Then what is this half c theta square? It is this energy which is the amount of energy which is being stored in twisting the wire. And this amount of energy stored in twisting the wire is called as strain energy. Therefore, the amount of strain energy that is being produced is given by half c theta square. Therefore, the amount of energy stored in the wire is called strain energy and is given by half c theta square. That is the amount of work done in twisting the wire. Now let us understand what is twisting couple on a wire. To understand the twisting couple on a wire, I consider a solid cylinder. A solid cylinder of length L of radius R, which is subjected to a torque T at one end. You are observing that one end is fixed. Fixed. Fixed is being marked at the one end. The other end is being rotated. That means it is subjected to a torque at one end. Then the other end is being fixed. Then under the action of this torque, a radial line at the free end of the, sh of the shaft twists through an angle theta. That means whenever it is being twisted through an angle theta with respect to the front face, you are observing here, at the front face it moves from the point A to point B. When it moves from point A to B, it describes an angle theta at the center O. That means here it is this radius which describes an angle theta. Whereas with respect to the fixed end, then it describes an angle gamma with respect to the fixed end. That is being written in the form of letter Y. It is not Y, it is called as gamma. Gamma, that is given by gamma is the angle with which it is described at the fixed end over a length equal to L. That means to describe an arc AB, then the arc length AB is given by R theta with respect to the front face. With respect to the fixed end, the arc length AB is given by L into gamma. In other words, this arc length AB is given by R theta that is equal to L gamma that is given by gamma is equal to R theta divided by L. From the definition of rigidity modulus or modulus of elasticity, then it can be defined as tangential stress to that shearing strain or tangential strain. Then what is this tangential or shearing stress? It is nothing but N into gamma. Then if you substitute gamma is equal to R theta by L, then we get shearing stress is equal to N into gamma. In place of gamma, we should write R theta by L. That is total shearing stress is given by N R theta divided by L. That means what is the shearing stress? Shearing stress is defined as the shearing force per unit area or shearing force is equal to shearing stress into area on which shearing force is acting. Then what is the shearing force? Shearing force is given by as we have calculated earlier. It is given by the shearing stress into area. 
that is given by shearing stresses n r theta by l into 2 pi r into dr where 2 pi r is the circumference of the front surface that is given by 2 pi r into dr then what is moment of force about the axis of the cylinder moment means rotatory rotating effect of the force is called as moment of the force and this moment of the force is defined as the shearing force into distance that is equal to f into r where f is the force given by n r theta by l into 2 pi r dr and the force into distance is given by r that is given by into r it is that means the total value of moment of the force is given by 2 pi n theta r to the power of 3 there are three values of r in the first quantity it is r in the second quantity in 2 pi r you find one more r at the end you find one more r totally there are three r r into r into r is r cube divided by l it is therefore for the twisting couple of the complete wire that means for the entire twist to be produced we have to integrate in other words it is similar to that of the summation of all such angles which is being token over one complete angle theta that is given by couple is given by c is equal to integration of 0 to r 2 pi n theta r to the power of 3 whole divided by l into dr now we are integrating with respect to dr therefore here we have to keep all this quantity constant 2 pi n theta by l is a constant integration of r to the power of 3 with respect to dr is r to the power of 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 that is equal to r to the power of 4 by 4 where 4 cancels with 2 leaving one value of 2 in the denominator therefore the total value of the couple is given by pi n theta r to the power of 4 divided by 2n suppose if theta is unity in other words if it is equal to 1 radian then the torque per unit twist c is equal to pi n r to the power of 4 by 2n here theta is 1 radian theta if theta is equal to 1 then the total torque per unit twist of the wire is c is equal to pi n r to the power of 4 pi 2 n which is nothing but torque per unit twist that is given by pi n r to the power of 4 by 2 n thank you